Three out of four Americans say we're on the wrong track. In fact, this number, never before in our poll, has this wrong track number been over 70% for this long. Wow, 74%. Even with the Inflation Reduction Act? I don't believe it. The ones who say we're on the right track? Ukrainians and the IRS. Thank goodness for the Inflation Reduction Act. We need it to expand green energy. Since the Inflation Reduction Act is the most aggressive legislation for green energy, kind of strange that it's not reflected in the name of the bill, isn't it? Almost like they're kind of worried and ashamed of it. Personally, I love going bird watching, especially at the wind farm. Look, there's a flock now, isn't it majestic? Wait, no! Aren't those bird swords, I mean windmills, wonderful? Since the economy's truly in a recession, no matter what they try to do with the word, why are we gearing our energy policy towards pleasing Greta Thunberg? You know, when you don't tell the temper tantrum kid in the store to shut the hell up, you get Greta. By the way, she's not even a kid anymore. How many bites at the doomsday apple do these people get? I'm Greta. I just turned 78. We can wait no longer. All you care about is making a living. How dare... <coughs> Excuse me. How dare... How dare you... I honestly hope that Joe, Obama, Manchin, Hunter, Pelosi all get to burn in hellfire. And I hope those hellfires are fueled with green energy. Everything about green energy sucks, including She-Hulk. You watch, in 20 years they'll be telling you to go back to oil. To save the earth from all that battery mining pollution and the insatiable appetite for coal-fired electricity, it needs to stop. This is Greta again. We must start fracking and drilling. But all you care about is solar and all these bird choppers. How dare you? Quick side message, I need your help. So comment, like, subscribe, hit the bell. Thanks. It's time to say goodbye. You are why one of the reasons people can't stay in the media. I'm sorry. <laughs> You're cracking me up. Our party, Abraham Lincoln, was defeated in elections for the Senate and the House before he won the most important election of all. Let me finish. You take an animal virus and you increase its transmissibility to humans. Right. You're saying that's not gain of function? Yeah, that is correct. And, and 75, 80 percent of the people vaccinated, you have an umbrella of protection over the community that the level of community spread will be really, really very low. Called the Fauci effect, which is sort of like, you know. Thank goodness the end is finally in sight. The Fauci effect. Here's a live look at the Fauci effect. I'll tell you the Fauci effect. A uselessly masked audience watching an unmasked Fauci preening in self-congratulation and worship. The Fauci effect is that we don't trust the CDC and NIH anymore to go along with the IRS, FBI, and CIA. He's finally announced that he's leaving in December. It's another decision made two years too late from what the data showed. Fauci may have achieved the impossible though, which is to be even more unpopular than Joe. He knows Republicans are gonna win the midterms and he'll no longer be shielded from the Democrat-controlled committees. So again, how fitting that his final decision is purely based on his own political self-interest as opposed to any notions of public service. He's the highest paid government employee. He accepted a made up bullshit award of a million dollars from another country for quote, speaking truth. The guy wrecked people's lives under the fear banner of saving them. This guy is not a real doctor interested in public service. He can join all the fictional evil doctors of all time. Dr. Lecter, Dr. Zayas, Doc Ock, and Dr. Jill. As for Liz Cheney, the media keeps pounding the message that she stood up for her principles. Such a model of sacrifice that she pocketed over 30 million in her time in Congress. She compares herself to Lincoln. When did Honest Abe bank 30 mil? She's not Lincoln, she's the Lincoln Project. Big difference. As for Stelter being fired, good lord. <laughs> How long can a guy with no ratings hang on to his job so long? Is he in entertainment or is he in the teachers union? I'm confused. I wanted to finish up by looking at Sam Harris's anti-Trump, any means necessary justification comments that went viral. Sometimes the left will give you one of those Jack Nicholson confirmations of everything you suspected. Uh, did you order the code red? You're goddamn right I did! And you know you're looking into a window of how these people think. But these comments went viral for a reason. Because they support the idea that so many people have about people on the left. That people on the left, if they had the chance, would steal an election from Donald Trump. Yeah, that's right. The discussion here is about suppressing the Hunter Biden laptop story. Hunter Biden, at that point, Hunter Biden literally could have had, had the corpses of children in his basement. I would not have cared. Some people on the right want to make a thing about this. I don't. It's an exaggeration. Give him the benefit of the doubt. Move on. Right. It's like it's, there's nothing. First of all, it's Hunter Biden, right? It's not, it's like, 
It's not Joe Biden. But even if Joe, like even the, whatever scope of Joe Biden's corruption is, like if you if we could just go down that rabbit hole endlessly and and understand that he's getting kickbacks from Hunter Biden's deals in Ukraine or wherever else, right? Or China. This is interesting because Harris first starts with the common defense tactic from the left, which is, hey, it's not Joe himself, it's just his kid. It's totally irrelevant. But then Harris immediately demonstrates that he knows perfectly well that it's not a quote, rabbit hole. He knows precisely that there were kickbacks from Ukraine and China. And he knows that the, hey, it's just about Hunter line is sheer bullshit. It is infinitesimal compared to the corruption we know Trump is involved in. It's like, it's like, it's like a firefly to the sun, right? I mean, like there's just, it doesn't even, it doesn't even stack up against Trump University, right? Trump University as a story is worse than anything that could be in, in Hunter Biden's laptop. In uh, no, Trump didn't hold public office at the time. Was it snake oily? Yeah, kind of. But it wasn't millions to compromise the country. It wasn't pay to play. Joe was in office being bought by outside governments. It is exactly as Harris describes. It is a firefly to the sun. Only Harris has it backwards. Trump is the firefly. In my view, right? Now that's not, that doesn't answer the people who say it's still completely unfair to not have looked at the laptop in a timely way and to have shut down the, you know, the New York Post's Twitter account. Like that, that's a, just a conspiracy, that's a left-wing conspiracy to deny the presidency to Donald Trump. Absolutely it was, absolutely, right? But I think it was warranted. You're right. goddamn right I did! Right, and, I'm, and again, it's a coin toss as to whether or not- Sam, I'm sorry. That particular piece I'm, I'm really yeah. sorry, I, I was the one that said we should move yeah, on, yeah. but you've just oh, said yeah. something I really struggle Go with there. I'm interested yeah. in democracy. You're saying you are content with a left-wing conspiracy to prevent somebody being democratically re-elected as president. Well, no, I'm, I'm content. Well, so it's, but the thing is, it's just not left-wing, right? So Liz Cheney is not left-wing, right? Liz Cheney is doing everything with a in her power. conspiracy to prevent somebody no, being democratically it's not elected. Like a, yes, he is absolutely content with the conspiracy to keep someone from being democratically elected. And as Harris points out, hey, it's bipartisan, so it's okay. In other words, establishment Republicans were in on this too. Bush, Cheney, Romney, McConnell, even establishment types Trump appointed himself, like Bill Barr, who also played his part in keeping the Hunter investigation quiet. Not exactly the Eric Holder, Obama, I'm his wingman type of relationship. If you also play this through, the conspiracy included mainstream media who spun the story as Russian misinformation, and they were enabled by, quote, neutral and bipartisan intelligence officers who gave the journalists all the necessary cover to make these claims. This looks like your classic disinformation campaign. Eric O'Neill is a former FBI, FBI operative. Quite coordinated. And if you play this through, it's now fair to question pretty much every mainstream media story claiming a Russian connection. It's fair to question every story involving these intelligence officers, since they are obviously willing to lie to the American public. You may fold under questioning. <laughs> so we have a massive corruption with Joe and Hunter, covered up by an even bigger corruption of government and media and social media, but I'm supposed to focus on Trump University. It, it's not like a, no, but there's nothing, conspiracy, it's not, it, it was a conspiracy out in the open, it does, but it doesn't matter if it was, a, it doesn't matter what part's conspiracy, what part's out in the open. I mean, I think it's like, if people get together and talk, and talk about what should we do with, about this phenomenon, you know, if, if it's like, if there, if there was an asteroid hurtling toward Earth, and, and we got in a room together, with all of our friends and had a conversation about what we could do to deflect its course, right? Is that a conspiracy? First, this acknowledges truthfully that the game was rigged out in the open. And if it's rigged and unfair out in the open, why wouldn't it be rigged and unfair behind closed doors? Another point I made before is whenever the left loses at anything, after they get tired of accusing the right of cheating, they then quickly move on to discrediting the rules. That's why they want to end the filibuster, pack the court, end the electoral college. Forget the candidate, they don't even believe in the rule book. If you don't believe in the rule book, why wouldn't you cheat? So Harris is honest, give him credit. Interesting side note is that he's a proud atheist who says we don't need dumb religion to take the moral path. Hmm. Yet here he's all about the ends justifying the means. We must act immorally to fight for morality. Outside of the arrogance of the elites, outside of robbing democracy, the alleged asteroid he's talking about had already hit. Trump was already the president. This was a re-election. And pre-COVID, he gave us a stellar economy, energy independence, no wars, our enemies remain in check, no inflation, no recession, no attempt to redefine the word recession. Was Trump using the FBI, CIA, IRS to go after the political opponents? No. So yeah, no doubt, a group of friends did get together. 
only they directed the asteroid right into us. Thanks for watching. Be sure to comment, like, subscribe. Be sure to pass around to anybody who might like my content. And I'll see you the next time.